Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing good. Well, today was my meat run, and I thought I would hop on and show you guys what I got. I'll show you before I package it, and then I'll show you what it looks like after I package it. It's a little bit cool this morning, like 30, maybe 31, 32 degrees out, so it's not bad. It's kind of cloudy. It's supposed to warm up more today with sunshine. We'll see if it does. Husband went out to uh, start draining the oil in his truck. He's going to change oil in the truck. Anyway, okay, let me get into this haul. Um, I went to uh, the meat market in our area, and I picked up a 10-pound bag of potatoes. These were $2.50 for 10 pounds. Can't beat it. I picked up some jumbo chicken wings, 10 pounds for $19.22. I picked up some bacon for $23 for 10 pounds. I picked up a chuck roast and it's $13.05. I got two roasts out of one and they cut it they cut it in half for me. I picked up um, some leg quarters. This is 10 pounds for $4.90. I got hamburger, uh, premium hamburger meat for $26.90, 10 pounds. I picked up three pounds of regular sliced Eckridge bologna for $9.92, and that's for three pounds. It was like $3.19 a pound. I picked up some ham, uh, deli ham for $2.05, just one pound. It was $1.99 a pound. He went over a little bit. No big deal. Got some baby back ribs. Uh, there's two uh, rib uh, uh, things in here. So that's two meals. Well, actually, it's probably uh, four meals because you're not going to eat a whole one uh, in one meal unless you're really, really hungry. Some guys can. Anyway, this was $10.03. I picked up another bag of the Great Northern Beans for $1.39, and I picked up these brown eggs for $1.99. I thought, why not? Uh, I picked up, oh, that was it at the meat store, that right there. And then I went to Harding's in the same area, because I can't ever get good uh, steaks at the meat store. I know that sounds crazy, but their, their steaks are always tough. I don't know if it's the way they cut them when I ask them to cut them. I just don't know. Their steaks are always tough. I can't get them tender. So we went to Harding's because Harding's usually always has good meat as far as steaks. Uh, to buy bulk, it would be too expensive, but individually wrapped. My husband likes liver cheese, so we picked up some liver cheese. And this was uh, $3.00. Let's see. I find it on here. Oh, okay. $3.49 for this liver cheese, which is a little expensive for no more than you get, but he likes it, so it's okay. And then I found um, they had this boneless beef New York strip steak for $3.65. So I got that. And then they had uh, beef T-bone steaks. This one was $5.98. I got this one for $5.70. And then I got this one for $5.77. Those are nice size steaks. My husband and I, uh, when we cook one of these, we share it. So that's plenty. And then I picked up some smaller ones, a couple. They had uh, the New York strip. This has a bone in. So it was $4.22, and then I got this one for $4.55. So that was good buy on steaks. So I kind of stocked up on those. And then I picked up a couple packages of the center cut pork chops. This was $2.24. There's three nice size chops in there. And this one is $2.14. And again, three nice size chops. So 214 and 224. So um, 
for less than five dollars i got six chops so that wasn't a bad buy now at the meat market i spent a hundred and twenty dollars well 114.99 to be exact for all of this uh 10 pound packaged meat and then at um hardings i spent 42.73 for everything so that's not bad I did pick up at Harding's a uh, bag of the okie dokie cheese popcorn and some V8 juice for my husband so that's that was my meat shopping now I'm gonna come on in a little while and I'll show you how many packages of meat I get out of these 10 pound packs and you'll see Sometimes it does pay to shop bulk. So just hang around. And for you, it's only going to be like a click. For me, it's going to be a little while. So I'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, you guys. Uh, this is where I've gotten so far. I got to get, I, I'm going to tape this because I need to get it in the freezer. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bacon. Plus, I put one in the refrigerator. So I got eight packages of bacon. And each pack will do two meals easy. Um, I got two meals for the roast. Actually, one roast will do two meals for my husband. So there's four meals. Two T-bone, because I kept two out to cook. And nine packs of hamburger meat. Um, I like to put a little more than a pound in each package. The same with the bacon. I like to add a little. So I got nine packages out of 10 pounds, which is good. So there's nine packages of the hamburger, then the two strips, and then the, the two packages of pork chop. So I'm going to get those into the freezer. And when I finish the chicken, I'll show you how much I get with that. So I'll catch you in a minute. Right, you guys, finished project. Um, two baby back ribs. Five of the wings, the jumbo wings for dinner. And five of the leg quarters. There's three in each one, which is six pieces of meat because you cut them apart. Or you can cook them together. Same with the wings. You cut the wings apart. Makes a, a, a large amount for two people. And I have four uh, blownies, one in the refrigerator. We're going to sit here and eat something, you said? 